Hey guys, how are you doing today? So I'm back again to talk about that as the A to grammar section, okay? And this is just questions and answers, okay? So let's practice together and I'm gonna help you too, all right? Okay, let's start. Um, first of all, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please remember to subscribe to my channel, okay? And um, give me a like button if you like it. All right, thank you. Okay, right, let's start. And which sentence is grammatically correct? A. Severus lost his or her kids on the train. B. Does everyone have their train ticket ready? C. Is everyone ready for their ice cream sundaes? D. Somebody left his or her jacket on the train. So I'm going to give you time to answer this. Okay, time is up. Let's look for the answer. So, um, which sentence is grammatically correct, right? So the answer is, what do you think? Is D, right? I hope you got that right. <laughs> all right, the answer is D because in all these sections, the A, several is a plural. This is plural. And this is singular. And this is singular. They don't go together. The same thing here, this is plural form. This is, sing I'm sorry, this is singular form. And this is plural form. And there's, so, the same way, but the last one, which is they, this is singular, and um, this is singular, both of them. All right? So, it goes together. So, somebody left his or her jacket on the train. So, this is the correct answer. Let me give you time to answer that. All right. Okay, time is up. Okay, the national anthem was sung. So A is the answer. Yeah. Because it that's in the past tense, right? So was here is the past tense. is the nurse do not think that the symptoms what do you think warranted right yeah warranted an emergency room visit yeah yeah because guaranteed it doesn't make sense because it's, it's like um like for example it looks like um quantity quality guarantees like for example um to guarantee a job to guarantee security it's like assurance or stuff but warranty is different because it's like what warrants you like what made you, you know gave you the audacity to do something like that <laughs> if i dash you i will leave now so this is pretty easy let me give you five seconds to answer that all right guys the answer is if i were you, I will leave now. Remember the difference? They try to confuse you here with the spelling where and where. So remember the difference in the spelling, okay? The baby dashed because she was hungry. So let me give you time to answer that, okay? So what do you think? The time is up. Okay. The answer is the baby cried because she was hungry. Cried. It has happened. It's in the past. So the answer is cried. Next slide. It is important. Sorry. Okay. It is important that John dash haste resume resume oh my gosh i'm sorry it's important that john dash his resume immediately what do you think oh the answer is right already 
I know for the answer for you guys. Why didn't I say this? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, let's just take this the bonus question for you. Okay, so the answer is A right here. Okay, let's try the next slide. Um, the blue whale is the largest animal dash the world. This is pretty easy, guys. This is so easy. So, pick it. What's the answer? The blue whale is the largest animal in the whole world. Inside the whole world. So, in. We are not out of this world. We are in. Of this, inside of this world. So, yeah. Okay. That, this one was pretty easy. Okay. This has been there before. Oh, sorry guys. I didn't know this. I didn't know that I have to have to do this the second time. If they dash that the weather was going to be so bad, they wouldn't have gone to the beach. So A, no. B, knew. C, had none. D, were knowing. So tell me what you think. I'm still waiting. Okay, the answer is um, if they had, yeah, if they had known that the weather was going to be so bad, they wouldn't have gone to the beach. Yeah, it's not if they knew. This was what happened. Like it has happened. If they knew, mm, it, it, it's gonna make sense a little bit. I think this makes more sense if they had known. So, this is the right answer. Okay. Okay, guys, let's try this one out. Which sentence is grammatically correct? A. Sarah plays her new saxophone well. B. The dog catches the freebie good. C. The band did good during the halftime show. D. The band that played before ours was well. So, which of these do you think is the answer? Let me give you guys time. Well, guys, I think um, A is the right answer because it's the only thing that makes sense here. No, seriously, it's the only thing that makes sense here. A, because Sarah plays her new saxophone. What happened? Sarah played, um, plays her new saxophone well. Saxophone well. So it's the only thing that makes sense here. Others is, I don't get it. I don't get them. So. The rest of these answers, they are all crap. So I just, they're just crap. So I don't, I don't get them. Yeah. So A is the right answer. Sarah plays a new saxophone. Well, okay. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Which sentence is grammatically correct? A. I went to the store. B. I want ice cream. Two. C. The nurse gave him two shots. D. I want to know your name. So, which of these do you think is the right answer, guys? I don't know. I'm just waiting on you guys. So, I think the right answer is which of these answers make sense? The only thing that makes sense here is the last answer, D, which is, I want to know your name. Yeah, I want to know your name. So, because the C, this is not the right spelling of two. It's supposed to be T W O, not T double O, not this one. So, you see, this one is wrong. I want ice cream too. Okay, it makes sense. Um, I went to 
no it doesn't make sense but um i want ice cream too makes sense but the answer is the i want to know your name is the only thing that makes sense here that's how it's so let's go to the next slide okay the child cried i want to do it dash so what do you think is the right answer let me give you guys time to answer Well, the answer is, it's pretty easy, right, guys? Um, the child cried, I want to do it myself. Yeah, you guys are right. You are awesome, yeah? I want to do it myself. So the answer is C. I want to do it myself, by myself. Approved by me. <laughs> no, by myself. So I want to do it myself. So that's the right answer. Within... 24 hours dash administration. A tobacco skin test should be read within 24 hours of administration. Yeah. It makes sense, right? All right, that's the answer B is the right answer. Let's go to the next slide. Let me start, guys. Um, identify the dependent clause in this sentence. The mother dog left her bed as soon as the puppies were asleep. So, which of these answers do you think is a dependent clause? If you know what that dependent clause means, um, is a clause that depends on um, on others. Is not independent like it depends on something to make sense right it's a sentence that depends on another sentence to make sense <laughs> okay guys that's it um the a answer is as soon as the puppies we are asleep b is let her bed as soon as c is the puppies we are asleep d is the mother left her bed so which of these do you think is the answer let me give you guys time to answer this you guys ready to answer this okay um the answer is um the mother dog left her bed as soon as the puppies were asleep you know the mother dog left her bed is it um independent clause right so the dependent clause and this sentence is as soon as the puppies were asleep yeah as soon as the puppies were asleep that is the dependent clause um, there because it depends on the first sentence to make sense it depends this as soon as the puppies were asleep it depends on the mother dog left the habit because it's a dependent clause so it depends on another sentence to make sense it's not a complete sentence. For example, I, I walk up to you and said, as soon as the puppies were asleep, you, you will be like, so, and, and then, what happened? See? So it depends on the mother dog left her bed to make sense, right? Right. So the answer is A, as soon as the puppies were asleep. Okay, let's go to Okay, let's try this. He doesn't care for a rap music and dash. What do you guys think is the answer? A. Neither me. B. Neither I do. C. Neither do I. D. Don't need it. So, what do you guys think is the answer? So I think the answer is he doesn't care for in rap music and neither do I. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, the last one is not is not part of this question. <laughs> okay. Okay. The answer is B. B. Neither do I. Neither. Sorry. 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 C. Neither do I. I was carried away. I'm sorry. <laughs> the answer is C. 
Because he doesn't care for a rap music. And neither do I. Neither do I. So who cares whether you like it or not? I don't like it either. So neither do I. So that's the right answer. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Um, since the factory was destroyed, the company has dash business to do. So A, no, B, not, C, none, D, neither, so, neither, so. Which of these do you think is the answer? So the answer is, um, since the factory was destroyed, the company has no business to do. Because no is the only thing that goes with that that makes sense. It shouldn't be the company has not business to do. It doesn't make sense, right? Or the company has no business to do. No. Or the company has neither business to do. No. So the right answer is um, the company the company has no business to do. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's try this one. Orange and lemon dash my favorite flavors. So A is B R C was D has orange and lemon dash my favorite flavor flavors so let me give you time guys to answer okay the answer is orange and lemon are my favorite flavors you guys are right so the answer is b the answer is b what's happening i want to get my pen the answer is b are my favorite flavors oh gosh i have a, the worst handwriting ever <laughs> okay guys all right uh, let's try it <laughs> the answer is b okay guys yeah okay let's try the next slide all right the dash excitement was evident it was the first time they performed for such a large audience so which of these answers you think is the right one let me give you time to answer this. You done? Okay. Um, the answer is C. The answer is C. So, if you get it. Yay. Okay. Um, I think it's it because of this word here. Um, they. That means it's a plural form, right? Okay. Had it been that it said, um, it was the first time he performed, or it was the first time she performed, then I believe the answer would be A. But since of this word here, of this um they here, that means the singers must be um they might be more than one, they might be like twenty, they might be three, they might be five, they might be hundred. So that is the answer. C. All right. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Mara went into the bakery and treated Dash to a muffin. A themselves, B her, C themselves, 
they herself a themselves b her c themselves d herself so the answer is mara went into the bakery and treated herself to a muffin mara it looks like feminine right i mean um it looks like she's a girl so even though she's not a girl at least none of this makes sense it can be themselves because it's just one person it can be her because it doesn't make sense it can be themselves it can be themselves but herself makes more sense why right? okay one week from today we dash on vacation in the bahamas a have been b will be c where d r one week from today we dash on vacation in the bahamas let me give you time to answer it all right the answer is one week from today we will be on vacation in the bahamas you guys know that right because it um it's gonna happen soon right it's not in the past it's in the present so it's in the future sorry so it's gonna happen very soon so it's gonna happen sooner like one week from now from today so the answer is b okay let's go to the next slide where dash that pie we ate last weekend a will you buy b did you buy c will you be buying d are you buying so which of this is the right answer five seconds to answer this this one The right answer is where did you buy um, that pie we ate last weekend? It looks yummy. Oh. <laughs> so the answer is B. Where did you buy? You know, this is last weekend, right? Last weekend. So it's in the past. So the deal makes more sense, right? Yeah, let's go to the next slide. Okay, right now Sophia is setting the table and her husband dash lunch. A made, B is making, C will make, D has made. So, what do you think is the right answer? Okay, the answer is right now Sophia is setting the table and her husband is making lunch. It makes more sense why. Right. Yeah. What kind of circle is this? <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, right now Sophia is setting the table and her husband is making lunch. It's happening. It's in the present. It's right happening right now. Sophia is setting the table right now and her husband is making lunch right now so it makes sense right okay let's go to the next slide by this time next year you dash your studies a we have completed b we're completing c complete d has completed what do you guys think well, for me, the only thing that makes sense right here is A. We all have completed. Yeah. By this time next year, you will have completed your studies. If it were to be by this time last year, you had completed, right? But this is next year, so we'll, we'll, next year have completed by this time so 
All right? Answer is A.